Are you learning cello through Essential Elements Book 2? Then this is the video for you. Today I'll be covering numbers 33 through 35. Hi, my name is Liz from Cellomoji.com and I give you tips and tools so that you can learn to play the cello. So today we're covering 33 through 35, which is really covering the eighth note beat rest. Now, eighth notes, as you know, is a little bit shorter than a quarter note. So when we see the rest, we still want to feel the eighth note beat rest before we play the next one. Now, in Essential Elements, they kind of have on the page listed how to count through things and they try to write it out so that you can understand what they're counting is. I've talked about this in some other videos and I often refer to it as what we call subdividing. So if a quarter note is one, one, and I keep clapping quarter notes with my hands, then the eighth notes would be one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Now in Essential Elements, they are listing here with the ampersand, or they call it and. So oftentimes, myself included, when I'm teaching, I'll go one and, one and, two and, three and, four and. So if I was just counting out one measure of four, four, or four quarter notes, it would be one and, two and, three and, four. And so this can sometimes get a little bit confusing for people trying to count out eighth note beat rests or eighth notes in general. But the idea is that in your head, you're still counting out all the eighth notes, even if you're not necessarily playing out every single eighth note. So number 30 is a really great way of visualizing what exactly is going on. So I encourage you to look at that one if you are still confused on what I'm talking about in terms of counting out the eighth note beats. Okay, so right now we are talking about number 33, which they call the rhythm rap. And here it's showing uh, quarter notes and eighth notes as well as eighth note beat rest. And it says shadow bow and count before playing. So right now we'll just uh, kind of clap it out and count it out and then we can try some with a shadow bow. So four, four, that means four quarter notes in a measure, right? And remember what I was doing earlier, I was clapping out quarter note beats, right? So I will clap out the notes that you see in 33 while I'm vocalizing the, uh, the numbers and the ampersand underneath, okay? So here in rhythm rap number 33, it's one and two and three and four and 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 so notice when I wasn't clapping, it's a little bit vague, I know, but that can mean that it's either a longer note or it was a rest, okay? So I know it's a little bit confusing, but let's try it again. This time I hope that you clap along with me while I am speaking and clapping along so you get a better idea. So here we go, from the beginning. One and two and three and four and 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 so now let's try what they call shadow bowing so what i will do is i will just bow across my lap the rhythm of this song. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Notice in this type of bowing, when we're shadow bowing, you can really make a difference now between short notes and long notes. So if it's a quarter note, make sure your bow is still moving for the quarter notes. You don't want it to sort of stop while you're still counting it, right? 
And then also when there is the two and an eighth note rest, notice my bow has stopped moving so that I can really honor the rest that is in number 33. All right, so number 33 gives you sort of a taste of what's going on with the rhythm with quarter notes and eighth note rests and eighth notes. Now let's move on to number 34, which also reviews the same thing and it is eighth notes off the beat is what the title of 34 is. So here it is in the key of D major, so make sure you practice your one octave D major scale. And even though the numbers aren't written in there with the numbers in the ampersand, if it helps you, I really encourage you to try uh, writing it on a separate sheet of paper so you understand what is going on and the counting that is going on. So what I'll do first here is I'll play through once by myself and I will speak out the uh, ones and ands and twos and all of that. And then I'll play through with the accompaniment that you can find on Essential Elements Interactive. Remember, you can always access this site through your book or through your teacher. All right, here we go. So I'll talk through 34 while playing by myself. And then when I'm playing through with the accompaniment, I won't be speaking. So here's 34. One and two. Again, 35 is covering the same rhythms with quarter notes and eighth notes and eighth note rests. This is also in the key of D major, so make sure you practice your D major scale. And it's also in 4-4, four, four, so that means there are four quarter notes in every measure. Remember, if there is an eighth note rest, it is not something where you're like skating through the rest. You really wanna make a nice clean stop until your next entrance of the note. All right, so here's number 35, Sunny Day. So here I'll start playing through number 35, talking through all of the quarter notes, eighth note rests, and then I'll play through once with the accompaniment provided by Essential Elements Interactive. One and two. numbers 33 through 35 and here we are covering the eighth note rest and how to count it instead of just sort of guessing on the feel of it we're really trying to vocalize and actually practice the bow feel when we have an eighth note rest if there are any questions that I haven't answered in this video be sure to leave them in the comments below and if you are finding all of these essential elements tutorials helpful I would love for you to give me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button and the bell next to it so you won't miss out on any other cello emoji videos check out the videos on your screen right now for some other essential elements tutorials as well as some other videos that can help you on your cello journey thanks again for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video bye